once again welcome to diksha mission jar this is a 15th day of diksha mission jar remember it's half century okay it's half century uh, diksha mission jar was started in the beginning of the lockdown okay so now it's almost 50 episodes have already uploaded in the youtube if you have missed any of those episodes go to our diksha class on youtube channel select the playlist diksha mission jar and you will get all the 50 videos Okay, so in this video, before going to the topic, I am going to uh, announce you or inform you regarding two existing competitions offered by Diksha. Okay, Diksha offers two exclusive competitions. Firstly, it's a daily Instagram quiz competition in which uh, daily Diksha will be posting uh, Instagram questions at 7 p.m. You want to answer within 24 hours and there will be weekly winners. Okay. There will be weekly winners. You can get the details regarding the Instagram daily quiz competition and also the details regarding the winners, as well as the details regarding how to give the answers in our official Instagram page, Diksha Classroom. The link for the Instagram page is also given in the YouTube description. Okay, so you can deal with that. So you can participate in daily Instagram quiz competition. You can participate in daily Instagram quiz competition so that the weekly winners. Three weekly winners will get free enrollment to Diksha mock test series. 20 mock tests with thousand questions of exact and DNA pattern with detailed analytics. And also a monthly winner will get free enrollment to Diksha complete online course. Diksha complete online course offers more than 300 videos in which we discuss all the 120 plus topics of paper one syllabus and also 50 some previous questions with explanation. 120 plus previous question sets in categorized formats, 150 plus sample test, 20 plus mock test. So, you more than 5,000 to 6,000 questions with the explanation. So, the monthly winner will get such a chance to win that complete online course also. So, remember, you are participating in Diksha Daily Online uh, Daily Instagram Quiz. More details is available in our Instagram page, Diksha Classroom. And the second competition is Diksha WhatsApp Broadcast sample set cues in which uh, we'll be sending google form cues in alternate days in our paper one free whatsapp broadcast i hope you know regarding diksha paper one free whatsapp broadcast in which we send regular materials video links uh, then uh, updates strategies then we have the sample set previous question ebooks ebook link etc on every day okay it's an exclusive diksha platform and you can be a member of that it's an exclusive free platform you can be a member of diksha paper one whatsapp broadcast by sending join to may and i four seven four seven eight six nine zero okay you can send and the number and the format is also given in the youtube description if you want to join paper two broadcast also offered by diksha like uh, social work commerce then psychology economics etc you can use the link provided in the youtube description and also from the past few days in paper one whatsapp broadcast we are sending a daily on alternative days we are sending a queues of with 15 questions a queues with 15 questions so you have to answer within 24 hours and once it reaches five okay that means after five episodes or after five episodes of the daily queues we'll be declaring the winners okay we'll be declaring the winners and the winners will get a direct entry once again to Diksha free mock test series with more than uh, 20 mock tests. Okay, 20 mock tests with of exact and DNA pattern. So that's a half century gift from Diksha. Daily Instagram queues. Okay, with weekly winners more than 3,000 and monthly winners with free complete online course worth more than 5,000. Okay, so that's it regarding the purpose and also similarly what's the free broadcast sample test also. Make sure you attend both of them and definitely you grab the prize. Okay, all the best my friends. So in the past few videos, we were discussing previous questions from the latest exams like 2019, December and 2019, June. The past two days, we were discussing ICT question from 2019, June. So this is a third part of the video discussing ICT question from 2019. June exam. So friends, let's go to the questions. Okay, so friends, in this video we are discussing ICT question 
part 3 of 2019 June. So let's directly go to the question. So this is the first question. Identify the encompassing term that involves the use of electronic platforms to conduct a company's business. So suppose a company is utilizing electronic platforms to conduct a business. It's known as e-company, e-commerce, e-marketing and e-governance. Give me the answer. I will give you a few seconds. Okay, so that's it. Let's try to discuss the answer. If you need more time, you can post the video. So firstly, you have e-company. So e-company is nothing but it's just an, a company which have an electronic format, electronic system, etc. So here it is. The term involved use of electronic platforms to conduct a company's business. So e-commerce or electronic commerce means buying and selling of goods, products or services over the internet. Over the internet, that is e-commerce. So electronic platform to conduct a company's business. So normally, if a normally a company's business will be the selling and buying of goods, products, services. So e-commerce, which is also known as electronic commerce or internet commerce, deals with delivery of company's business. So when it comes to e-marketing, when it comes to e-marketing, e-marketing is a process of planning and executing the conception distribution promotion and pricing of products and services in a computerized networked environment such as an internet or worldwide world so e-marketing is all about planning and executing the conception distribution promotion etc so it's all about marketing and when it comes to e-governance i hope there is a syllabus in our ntn and paper one syllabus ict and governance which is also known as e-governance e-governance is a electronic delivery of government services okay it's an electronic delivery or digital delivery of government services we can say it as e-governance so option yeah e-company it's just a company which have a digital format then e-commerce you will be transacting the business using the internet platform e-marketing you will be marketing your business needs using internet and e-governance is a delivery of government services through e-governance so the question is electronic platforms to conduct a company's business you have option b e-commerce as the correct answer for this particular question so moving to the second question which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage so that's the question which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage you have four options a ram b floppy disk c optical disk and d flash drive okay so give me the answer which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage so the question is which is not a form of secondary storage okay you should be careful regarding the question sometime you may have to read the question multiple times okay so let's try to discuss the question firstly i hope you know what is primary storage and secondary storage all about so primary storage is commonly referred to as primary memory which is volatile in nature okay and which tend to lose data as soon as a computer loses a power or reboots so primary memory primary storage is a primary memory which tend to lose data once a computer reboots or power is off so ram is a most important example of primary memory okay ram is a most important example of primary memory while when it comes to secondary data or secondary storage it's a ideal storage solution in the computer's memory hierarchy that is used to store data or information on the long term basis we use secondary storage to store data on a long term basis okay that will not be lost 
by just turning off your computer or the power loss or rebooting the computer so you have floppy disk is a mode of secondary storage optical disk is a mode of secondary storage and flash drive is a mode of secondary storage so the question is regarding which among the following is not a, a form of secondary storage so you have option a ram is not a form of secondary storage so for this particular question which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage you have option a as a correct answer so let's move to the next question third question this set nme ict is an acronym for it is a previously asked question so you want to say the expansion of nme ict they have given four options option one national massive education through information and communication technology national mission on education through information and communication technology national multi-purpose education through information and communication technology and finally national mode of education through information and communication technology okay so try to give me the answer Okay, so it's a direct question and it's an easy question. I will answer it. NMEICT is an acronym for National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology or Option B. This NMEICT or National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology has been envisaged as a centrally sponsored scheme. Okay, as a centrally sponsored scheme to leverage the potential of ICT in teaching and learning processes for the benefit of all learners okay especially in higher education institution and it was support it was expected that this will act as a major intervention for enhancing the ger or gross enrollment ratio okay so nmeict deal it's a centrally sponsored scheme and it's mainly deals with application of ict in education so as to increase the enrollment ratio or gross enrollment ratio so you have option b as a correct answer for this particular question moving to fourth question which of the following devices enables a computer to transmit data over telephone lines? So the question is, which of the following devices enables a computer to transmit data over telephone lines? You have the option of CPU, hub, switch and motor. Give me the answer. I will give you a few seconds. Okay, so let's try to answer the question. Uh, firstly, I hope you know what CPU is all about. CPU or central processing unit is a main brain of computer. It has nothing to do with transmitting data over telephone lines. So next you have hub. I hope you know what a hub is. Hub is a networking device that allows one to connect multiple PCs to a single network. Okay, it may be based on Ethernet, Fireware, etc. So it is dealt with connecting multiple PCs, connecting multiple PCs. Okay, connecting PCs, you use a hub. And when it comes to switch, switch is a control unit that turns the flow of electricity on or off in a circuit. You know what is a switch is. Okay, it controls the uh, electricity flow in a unit on and off. And finally, you have the modem. That is the correct answer for this particular question. Modem is a short form modulator demodulator okay it's a short form modulator modulator demodulator and it is a hardware component that allows a computer or another device such as a router or switch to connect to the internet or a telephone phone modem okay acronym or shortened form of modulator demodulator enables a computer to transmit data over telephone lines so for this particular question you have option d modem as a correct answer moving to the last question of this particular set select the true statement about an operating system or os so the first option is 
An operating system controls peripheral, allocates memory, and organizes data into fields and records. Option B, an operating system provides protection against viruses and control peripherals. Option C, an operating system controls peripheral and allocates memory and processor time. And final option is, an operating system controls the processor and peripherals and allows the user to connect to the internet. So you want to select the true statement about an operating system. I will give you a few seconds to answer. Okay, so we'll try to answer the question. Once again, if you want more time, you can post the video. And I hope you know what is an operator software or operating software is. Operating system or OS is a software which acts as an interface between the end user and computer hardware. Okay, so for a computer to run, there should be any any of any one of the operating system, whether it's a Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Mac, or whatever it is. So it's compulsory and features of there are different features or characteristics and of an operating system we can say like it will be protected in and it will be in the supervisor model and also it allows disk access and file systems it allows or it controls device drivers it controls about program execution it controls the memory management it controls the manipulation of the file system okay and also it controls resource allocation it controls resource protection peripheral allocates it allocates the memory it allocates the processor time everything depends upon the operating system so out of the four option an operating system controls peripheral allocates memory and processor time is the correct option out of the four given options so for this particular question you have option c as the correct answer so i hope you are clear with this set of questions So friends, that's all about this video discussing ICT question from 2019 June. I hope you are clear with the question we have already discussed. If you have any doubts, you can put it in the comment section. We'll be discussing the remaining questions of ICT from 2019 June in the next mission year, that is Diksha mission year of number 51. If you would like to know more about Diksha, you can visit our official website www.dikshaclassroom.com and also make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So that's all about this video. We'll see you again in the next episode of Diksha Mission Jara, that is Diksha Mission Jara number 51. Thank you.